Hello, hey, it's day 22 of 100. I have a little thing to read you today because when I was a kid growing up, mum used to have this thing taped on the back of the bathroom door. Okay, so when we're all in the bathroom, it was there for us to read and I read it over and over and over again because, you know, you just do because it's there. So anyway, there's it's, it's called Desiderata and some of you may have heard of it and some of you may not but it got to a point where I had read it so many times that I could recite this. I can't anymore so I'm going to have to look with notes. But I'm wondering now if I have read this so many times that you know how when you have a mantra and you say it over and over again and it becomes part of your life? Um, I'm wondering if that's where my first sort of connection with um, having this life that's kind of like the secret starts. Now I'm going to read it to you. Um, it's going to be short, so hang in there. I just, I, I think it's so interesting and it's, um, it's fantastic. Okay, it's called Desiderata by Max Ehrman and it was written in 1927. Go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others, even the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons, they are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment it is perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here, and whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be, and whatever your labours and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham and drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful, strive to be happy. Aren't those words fantastic? I just love that. So um, you could download it. I just uh, looked up Desiderata. It's spelled D-E-S-I-D-E-R-A-T-A. -E -E but those words are really something to live by. And it's funny because um, I find myself saying some of those things. Like I always go, oh, everything will work out the way it should. No doubt, you know, things are happening the way it should. And um, I don't know, it seems like that whole thing is exactly how I think and epitomizes the secret. Okay, have a happy night, everybody. I'll talk tomorrow. Bye. Hey, thank you for all the comments on my funny sing-along. God, I love doing that. That wasn't even going to be as crazy as it was yesterday, but um, my daughter and I just put it on. We started dancing and uh, we laughed. So <laughs> thank you. Bye.